Mr. Corey, how have the uh, receivers been competing with each other so far and been fall campuses getting started? Uh, we have a great group of guys. Once again, uh, this whole summer we've been working hard, you know, developing our, our skill set on and off the field, but I'm mostly on the field right now since we don't fall camp, but trying to get locked in with the plays, get, um, get more um, reps with the quarterbacks, all quarterbacks, and we've been, we've been doing a great job. Hey, Ja'Cory, uh, you talk about working on skill sets and improving that. I mean, what are some of the points of emphasis for, for you, for the position group, uh, to work on to improve from last year? Uh, mainly as a whole position group, you know, we all play receivers, so our first skill set is, like, working on our hands, catching the ball, you know. As a receiver, if you can't catch the ball, then, you know, you really can't be out on the field. So that's one thing with us. We know that we focus on getting on the jug before practice and before whenever time we can really get on the jugs after practice. And that's how we developed that skill set. Yeah, hey, Jacor, you, you mentioned um, working with all the quarterbacks. Just how is that in terms of trying to develop chemistry with, with guys ahead of the season? Uh, it's great because uh, we, we're not only working with one quarterback, so all the quarterbacks are great. Um, I see they, they all show leadership qualities and they all have the right mindset. How's it been with Tommy and just kind of learning that offense and how he's kind of working with the system you guys already had? Uh, working with Tommy is, is great, you know. Um, I really want to say it's too much different, but, you know, he, he added his tweaks in and he, he going to develop us as an offense. It's been mentioned that, you know, Alabama is looking for a number one receiver. What do you think about that? And is that a role that you kind of embrace as a, you know, returning guy? Uh, to be honest, as a returning, I'm not really looking for you know, a number one receiver. I'm looking for as a complete group because, you know, Everybody might have a day, you know, everybody might have a game to get their name called on. So we want everybody in our group to show up and play hard the best way they could. Yesterday, Coach Saban said that things change when you get into fall camp, when you put helmets on, when you put pads on. For yourself, what is that mentality shift like transitioning from summer conditioning to fall camp? Uh, yeah, everybody has to change their whole mindset. It's hot out there, you know. It's hot. We're not just going to let the heat um affect our performance, but we all, we all, the whole team know we have to work hard. It's going to be a hard work in summer. I've been liking our, our energy so far, so we're going to keep that scribe. Ja'Cory, this will be his second, I guess, full year playing corner, but what do you think Terry Arnold took from last year that you really like about him this ball camp here? Uh, Terry on Terry on played with a lot of dogs, so, you know, he, he, he'll, he'll floor the cat too, so he, he got that swag. You know, he going to come out he gonna come out swagging. Me and him gonna shop uh, iron gonna shop iron. That's the same way with Kool Aid. Kool Aid, he gonna come out and play hard, practice hard. So that's just how it go. You mentioned the receivers as a complete group. Do you guys feel like the, the depth there has improved from last year? Have you seen some of the young guys improve? Yeah, I see. I see every guy improve. You know, even myself. But most of the the younger guys. As in, like the freshmen, and even the sophomores, you know, developing their playbook and a skill set of how to run their routes and what they need to see as in the defense. So we all developing. Yeah, kind of off that. Prentice, uh, Bond, and Law got to play a lot last year. Um, where have you seen them grow from last year and then into this year? Um, there's always more room for improvement, but uh, I see them. They get, they're getting a lot of confidence. You know, they starting to um, be more familiar with the playbook and just. You know, play freely, you know, like they just been here a couple of years. So, yeah, You guys added a few uh, transfer DBs um, after the, the spring game. I mean, what, what do you see from those guys so far? What stood out, kind of early impressions? Uh, I see the guys, they, um, as a DB group, we, we go against them every day. So, really, uh, as the leaders that I see as a DB group, Terion and Kool-Aid, they leading them guys well. So every time we go against them, it's, it's the same thing. It's like we're going against the ones, the two, the threes, no matter who we're going against. We all going to go against each other and work hard. What have you seen from Malik Benson, just in terms of his growth since he got here, um, I guess, for the bowl game? Uh, Malik been a hard worker. He always been a hard worker since he got here, you know. Um, he very. He, I'm not going to say too much quiet or talkative, but, you know, he he's just going to – Take the coaching, accept the coaching, and, and just work hard. Anything else? 
Hey, Ja'Cory, thank you. Uh, could you talk about Kendrick Law? What you like about his playing style? Oh, Kendrick Law, Kendrick Law played more like a – Kendrick Law aggressive, so, you know, but I like his whole play style. You know, he's a young kid, still developing as well. But um, he's going to have a unique type of play style. He's going to um, he gonna bring his own type of game into the group, and everybody got their own type of skill set. So that's, that's just help as the receiver. You know, we all take from each other. So K-Law got a lot to bring to the table. Appreciate y'all. Hey, Deontay. Um, Coach Saban yesterday was talking about you kind of emerging as a leader. Have you found yourself trying to be more vocal this summer and, and stepping into that role? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like with my position, that's something I have to do. Uh, seeing guys like Henry uh, Moody, you know, uh, seeing they foot, following their footsteps uh, is a role I had to step into. Having a position coach like a Robert Baca coming here, how have how has he and Kevin Steele really impacted the attitude of this defense? Uh, you know, they came in, you know, high energy guys, uh, talking about Bala first. Uh, he great energy, a uh, great coach. He's very smart, so you know he he's bringing some some fire to the inside backers. And you know, Kevin Steele, he everybody knows Kevin Steele. He's a great guy, a uh, hard worker, hard good coach. Um, he's just Trying to bring the little things, make the little things right, stuff like that. Yeah, more on Kevin Steele. I mean, what kind of mentality is he emphasizing to you guys to have on defense this year? Uh, really just the ball, uh, generate more turnovers, which will lead to points. Uh, you know, really the same thing, but, you know, the little things. It's all about the little things, so that's what we're trying to work on. Nick Zimmons said that it was kind of hard for a defensive guy like Justin Jefferson to kind of pick up the defense quick as a transfer. What are you doing to kind of help him, and what have you seen from him in terms of grasping the defense? Uh, you know, Justin, a hard worker. Um, it is a complex defense, but I feel like he's he's getting up with coach. He's doing all the things he needs to do to, you know, find that role, and he's he's grinding. What have you seen from Jihad Campbell just in terms of how he's improved and maybe kind of – it stepped into a leadership role as well. Yeah, uh, Jahad, he, he's a hard worker. Um, yeah, he definitely made a, a big step from last year. But, you know, all the guys in the inside back room, we, we're all working, we're all grinding, and it'll be fun. You had a, a tweet in the spring that was kind of hinting at you ready to, to be back on the field. Just kind of what was that recovery process like, and what does it feel like now to, to be healthy at the start of fall camp? Uh, yeah, it feels great. Uh, you know, I had a little issue. I got it cleaned up and stuff. Uh, had a great summer. Uh, yeah, I was just ready to get back out there, uh, be with my guys, and, you know, get this thing started. Uh, Saban so mentioned this yesterday, but what's the biggest difference for you when pads get on as opposed to just, you know, running through dry or with helmets only? Wait, say that one more time. What's the biggest difference when pads get on in practice and you guys are able to hit a little bit? Uh, you know, it's more intensity, of course. Um, the pads haven't got on yet, so I don't really know how, how this fall camp going to go, but I'm, I'm ready for when they get on. You get to go against the, the O-line uh, in practice. I mean, what have you seen or what stood out so far about this group and their, their mentality? Yeah, they're, uh, they're definitely a dedicated group. Um, they work hard as they can to, you know, provide the – the uh, support that they need to for the QB or run lanes for the running backs to run through. Uh, they're all working together, and, and that's what they need. Um, we're going to battle every day of this camp, and we'll see what happens. Uh, Coach Saban mentioned trying to emphasize more of a play-in, play-out mentality this season as opposed to focusing on results. How does that show up on the practice field? Uh, just playing play-by-play. Play. Uh, even if you make a mistake, just – you know, next play mentality and getting ready for the next play, really. Obviously, you got to play alongside Will Anderson and, you know, his leadership and everything like that. How, how do you feel that Dallas Turner has kind of grown into that leadership role this year? Uh, you know, I feel like it's always been in Dallas, but, you know, Will was just the, the, the spotlight. But I feel like that's just something he's always had, so it's just his time now to do that. You mentioned Kevin Steele brings a focus to the little things. Can you elaborate on what some of those little things really are that he's focused, having you guys focus on? Uh, penalties, you know, uh, 
really penalties the most the main thing we've been focused on uh you know just making sure everybody doing their job and no minimum minimum errors to you know that that leaves points that leads to points have you gotten to see much of Tyler Buckner's ability to pick up the offense, and what has he been like from what you've seen from the defensive perspective? Uh, you know, uh, camp is just getting started, really, so this one I'll be able to tell. But, you know, all the quarterbacks there, they're doing their their job. As a kind of a young guy in the secondary, what do you like about Earl Middle's ability to be instinct to find the ball, things like that? Wait, what name? Oh, Earl Middle. Okay, uh, yeah, Earl. Yeah, he comes to work every day. Um, you know, he tries to do it, do what he got to do to, you know, eventually step in that role. But, I mean, all the DBs are working. Um, everybody's working really on the defense side of the ball. And we're just trying to see how this is going to go through camp. Yeah, one more Kevin Steele question. As far as the, the toughness he, he's instilling, what, what have you seen so far from that aspect? Uh, you know, just, just – Plan. I mean, like the way he he coaches, uh, you know, the way he goes about the little things. Uh, you can just tell that it's it's going to be a tough defense, uh, and we we want to force turnovers. Coach mentioned he showed you guys some clutch moments from last season a couple days ago. Some good, some bad. What did you take away from that, and how can you learn from that for the season? Uh. Yeah, uh, mainly the plays were last second plays, like uh, five plays to, to lose the game or, or win the game. And that's just showing like every play matters and you got to finish the game no matter what the score is or anything like that. All right, thanks for being here. Is there a little bit more hunger, a little bit more focus this year? I mean, you guys lost last year to LSU. You guys lost last year to Tennessee. You guys haven't won a national championship in some time. Is there a little bit more hunger, almost like that reverse rat poison inside the locker room? Yeah, I mean, it's, everybody's hungry, so everybody feel like they have a point to prove. Um, we're not really too much worried about, you know, outcome or, or the natty or something like that. We're just trying to get better day by day and, you know, stay, stay the course. I know we asked you about it at length in the spring, but now that you're even more time removed from it, just how are you feeling physically? Uh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling 100. percent I'm feeling perfectly healthy. Um, I felt the same way I did in the spring. I'm feeling great. Um, each and every day is just a great day for me, um, and just looking forward to practice later on. Justin, what's been the most difficult part of moving to a new coordinator? I'll be honest with you, it really hasn't been that big of a um, difference because, I mean, defense is going to stay the same. You know what I mean? And then, you know, Coach Saban isn't leaving, and he's always in that meeting. He's always the spearhead of things. So it's really no de um, difference. You know, everybody has their different ideologies and stuff like that. But the best thing is that Coach Steele has been here before. So as a guy that has been there, knows um, how Coach Saban likes things and knows the ins and outs of things. So, I feel like the best thing is having somebody that's already been in the system that knows about the system already. So it's been kind of, you know, um, kind of like a seamless um, transition for him. Only thing it is is, you know, having to learn new signals and stuff like that as far as, like, you know, somebody who's um, a defense coordinator that's within the SEC. So just learn new signals, that's been the biggest thing. But, I mean, that's anybody, though. Can you talk about the growth that you've seen uh, from year one to year two from Jaheim Otis? I mean, I think the biggest thing is the weight transformation. I think that's the biggest thing. Um, you know, the commitment towards that and then the commitment towards each and every day trying to get better. Um, I feel like that's each and every one in that group. Um, whether you was here last year or you a new guy who just came in in the um, spring, I feel like just each and every day stacking upon days and, you know, Jaheim has done that, and a countless, um, a countless amount of other guys in that room has done so too. So, Justin, you said back in the spring that it starts with us, that being the defensive line. But how have you seen those guys, summer to right now, kind of really take ownership that it does start with us? Well, yesterday was the first day of practice, um, so you know, it's a lot that's going to be 
upon stacking upon that day is, you know, continuing today and then so on and so on. But just every day realizing that you have to bring the energy and it starts with us as far as like we the first line of defense and that, you know, generally how well the team does is it is how how well they do in the trenches. And the biggest thing for us is being um, physical, everybody being on the same page, knowing what to do, flying around and, you know, being collective as a unit as far as like being – one to talk to, being one of the most talked about D lines in the country. That's one of the biggest things. And how it start is coming with attitude each and every day, ready to work. And that's one of the things I've been trying to instill in each and every one because the 14 guys in that room, that's all we got. So that's our mentality, and that's how we're looking forward to things. What's it like going up against your guys' offensive line, but also specifically going up against JC? I think the biggest thing is, you know. Um, Iron sharpens iron. They're going to be one of the best O-lines, if not the best O-lines we face this year. So each and every day we get a chance to go up against each other, especially during camp where it's good on good each and every period. It's one of the best things because, you know, I may not play or, you know, play another um, player as good as, you know, any one of the five that I'm going up against in practice. Jason's a great player. T-Book's a great player. Darian, um, Ferg, um, everybody in that um, – in that O line group is good, and each and every day I get a chance to go up against them, I take advantage of it. Yeah, going off of that, uh, that left tackle. I mean, what, what have you seen from those guys, uh, both in the spring and, and so far? I mean, you're only two, you know, one practice in, but so far uh, here in August. Well, I mean, the biggest thing is just you know the growth and the the want to to learn and to get better. You know, I see the um, the want to in their eyes and the way they play, and that's the biggest thing. And I'm not, you know, I'm not an O-line guy. I don't know much about O-line, you know. I know we enemies at this point in time because we're in camp, but, I mean, I just see the want to get better each and every day, and that's the only thing that I can hope for is, you know, I'm wanting to get better, and the only way for me to get better is them to push me. Outside of Jaheim, you guys have a lot of young defensive linemen on this roster. Just how have you tried to help bring them along, and what have you seen from them from a growth standpoint? Well, I think the biggest thing is just pouring um, experience and leadership, and then on top of that, just bringing, bringing somebody, pe bringing the ones that's um, behind me along with me, um, whether it be us learning, you know, them learning the plays, and me, you know, sitting down, whether it be them sitting down with the coach, you know, coaches be busy, well, you know, I have time to teach you, you know, whether it be staying out to practice, whether it be hearing the bags, or whether it's, you know, actually walking through the plays that they may stumble upon, but. I feel like once you learn to play, you have a chance to play faster. So that's the biggest thing, you know. The same way they played fast and physical in high school, and now they have to learn a new system, you'll be able to play the same way once you learn what to do so you don't have to second-guess your movements and stuff like that.